Hi guys, well um, here's another review and today I'm reviewing the um, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Total Recall which I got in a fantastic looking steel book as you can see and um, yeah I'm really pleased with it it comes with a J card that comes off and that removes all the age ratings um, <coughs> so there's an absolutely it's pretty clean to be honest with you, it's absolutely clean I mean the image goes all right round as you can see um, it's a great looking uh, picture on the front there um, even the back there is totally clean which is a surprise there's not even a writing at the bottom which uh, you sometimes get even with the cleanest of steel books um, and yeah I'm really happy with it the only downside for me is I've got one little scratch which is uh, near the, the words uh, L there near the total recall but it's on the spine so it's uh, it's uh, nothing major and um, I also got it for 20% off at HMV so I, I got it for about £12.80 I do believe so I, I did get a good deal on this steelbook even though it did take a very long time to get to me and um, it was poorly packaged as well but apart from the scratch on, on the uh, the spine here um, it's uh, you know, come in pretty good condition. I don't have any dents, uh, thankfully, on this one. And uh, yeah, let's open it up and have a look inside. Um, you get a booklet, which is another cool thing. We'll go through that in a minute. Other movies you can get from Studio Canal. Uh, the digital copy with the code on the other side. Uh, some nice picture discs and it's nice that the uh, DVD and the um, Blu-ray discs are different there you go Let me show you the picture disc again and uh, there's the image inside which is really nice so Overall, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so let's look at the booklet. Um, basically called Total Recall in the Heart of the Movie. Uh, some write-ups there about the film. Um, and it's some images. But it's, it's, you know, it's it's not that it's not deep. You know, it's not like a, a a nice hardback or anything. But it's just a nice little touch to to get a booklet to let you know a little bit about the film. Um, the extras on here um, are pretty good actually. Uh, you get a new interview with Paul Verhoeven and I, I really enjoyed the interview to be honest with you. It's sort of 20 years on and um, he gives his views on the film now and uh, you know and how hard it was to make and um, why he went in the direction he did with the film and um, how he feels that the new movie um, will differ to his version and of course um, there's commentary by uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Paul Verhoeven and it's just um, it's interesting to listen to Arnold uh, I get the feeling from his commentary on this movie it's one of his favorite films he knows a lot about the film itself but um, it, just as with uh, Conan the Barbarian uh, commentary I just love the way Arnold Schwarzenegger feels like he has to describe um, certain scenes even though you can actually see it yourself so he'll li literally explain to you what you're seeing at that time. Um, for instance, he'll be drilling on the ground and then Arnold will go, Here I am, I'm a construction worker. You know, and you go, yeah, I can kind of see that <laughs> already for myself. But um, it is funny, it's funny. I mean, the, the movie's, uh, you know, great. I thought the picture looked um, really good. It's, it's very grainy in places. Uh, and they do show the restoration process. Um, in this with, with one of the extras but um, I feel they brought out a lot of colour in this um, a lot of um, reds uh, um, stand out now um, which is um, particularly important with this movie and um, you know you've got a lot of dark in, darkness in this not a lot of the inky blacks now um, and I think this is even though it's grainy it's kind of a good grain in a way and um, you know we should be thankful that uh it wasn't totally DNR'd to um, be on recognition. 
So you know, I, I'm I'm happy with I'm happy with this purchase. I think it's a good Blu-ray, and um, I, I definitely recommend it for any uh, Total Recall fan. Okay, um, another film I picked up recently was uh, Movie Rampart with Woody Harrelson, and um, this is another um, really nice still book. Um, as you can see, images of image of Woody Harrelson there on the front and on the back. It's a really nice. Um, King looking still, but also from Studio Canal, they're doing a great job with their still books now. Image goes around. Okay, we've got more info here. Like before, um, picture discs, which this time are the same. One Blu-ray, one DVD. And uh, we have a, a, a the city landscape there in the in the in the middle. It's kind of like giving a foggy effect to it. But uh, yeah, really nice still book. Um, some people not too happy with this film. They, some said it was boring and it doesn't go anywhere. Um, I I personally enjoyed it. Um, it's just basically a study of one man who has his cake and, and eats it basically, um, has a really good life, um, but you know, lives a certain way that you can't, just can't um, carry on doing, um, really out for himself, quite a self-centred man, but not a dislikable character, uh, completely dislikable character. Um, has his own set of morals whether you agree with them or not um, depends on your your point of view but um, I suppose he's living in, in a situation where everyone around him is uh, fairly corrupt and have their own agenda too so um, yeah I thought this guy was going to be basically in the film was going to go around and be like this uh, just mean cop who deserves what he gets, but I felt a little bit of sympathy for him uh, while he, while still agreeing that um, you know he kind of made his bed, he made his own bed, so he has to sleep in it. But um, it is interesting to see you do start, you know, getting interested in uh, his situation, and you kind of hope that everything works out in the end. Um, Especially like there's um, some innocent people involved in it, like his children. Some people say that uh, there's not a satisf satisfactory ending to this film. Um, I kind of disagree with that. I kind of feel, yes, it, it does leave it a little bit open for your interpretation at the end. But um, I think it's pretty clear what's going to happen. This movie's based on a book by Elroy Leonard, who uh, did the book uh, No Country for Old Men. And... Um, in, in the end of that film it was left open as well um, for your interpretation um, and I feel this one the difference with this one the ending in this is more of a it's more clear cut in what's going to happen next I don't think you really need to have explained to you it's not a, a, a more of a sudden ending than uh, No Country was for that part I think I think this was a um, you know the ending was not better, but um, more clearer to understand. But uh, the, the the extras were okay. I mean, they're just the usual extras. But um, yeah, I definitely. Uh, if you're into like a slow burn kind of um, drama, then then uh, this is definitely a new. You like watching great acting, and I think um, Woody Harrelson really puts on a great performance here. Yeah, I definitely recommend it for you. Just don't expect an all-out action uh, cop movie, because you won't get it.